it's Kathy here today with uh, my friend Amish, who owns Wolfgang Bakery and Grooming in the Miller neighborhood. Hey Amish, how are you? What's going on, man? I'm doing good. Good. So we're having to do the Zoom thing since we're still in the age of COVID, but that uh, was not going to stop us from having a conversation with this small business owner here in our neighborhood. So, um, I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your love for animals and what, what really sparked that. Um, I've always loved animals. Um, I never really was able to have one when I was younger. So I wanted a dog ever since I was a little kid, but because of um, where we lived and I live with my grandparents, they don't really allow animals in the house. I just kind of just like, all right, whenever I get a chance to get one, I'll get one. Um, and so when I went to UT, I think it was my junior year, um, I just saved up money over the summer and then I just went to the shelter and got one. Um, and so that's, I mean, I would show you she's sleeping, but um, Ava's the reason for pretty much everything. Um, and so she was the reason for the store. She's the reason for basically how I live my life. <laughs> Everything's like kind of focused around her. So um, any free time, any, anything we have to do is always focused on her. And now our new one that we got during quarantine, which is Henry, um so whatever they need we just do it for them i just want to take my dogs to work so that was the whole purpose yeah so you can take your dogs to work oh yeah they're always at the store always at the store that's wonderful yeah yeah so why did you decide on putting a store in the miller neighborhood um ut is like 10 minutes away yeah. um and so in between classes um obviously as a college student I had so much extra time in between um my classes and you know after uh, my day was done um it was either going to Zilker or coming here. And Zilker can get kind of crazy sometimes. And I like the change of pace. Um, and the lake here was super nice. And I can walk around, get some lick. Like there's so many things to do. And I didn't even know this neighborhood was here. Um, and so this was essentially my dog park. Um, and so I, it always blew my mind how many dogs would show up at like five o'clock right after work. Um, and I never understood why there was no dog store. Um, so that was, it was kind of an idea I had. I'd be like, it'd be really cool to have a dog store here. Mm -hmm. And whoever gets one, <laughs> lucky for them. And so then towards senior year, at the end of it, I was like, well, why don't we just do it? Um, and what it, what does it take to do that? And so that's, it kind of started one thing after another, and then it just kind of came to fruition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're smack dab out of college with a new business. How's that going? Um, it's way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's very yeah. stressful, but um, a lot of people in my family are business owners, and a lot of people do corporate as well. Um, and so I did an internship my senior year, um, it's kind of a requirement and I hated every second of it. I cannot, I can't stand doing corporate. I don't like wearing suits and stuff like that. It's just weird. It's not me. And I can't take my dogs. I don't know what to do with my dogs all day. So it was at that point that I was doing the internship to kind of figure out what I wanted to do and then kind of fielding the idea of owning my own business, um, like a dog store. And so that kind of pushed me over the edge of like going full force like let's just let's do it because I already know I can't do this the rest of my life like just I can wear basketball shorts all day and hang out with my dogs and just talk to people about their dogs all day so it's great at least you're honest with yourself that's, that's oh, yeah. huge uh so tell me about the store what what what's there what can I get why would oh, I go we pretty much have everything you need and if we don't have it uh, we can get it for you um treats snacks um food for sure um we offer grooming um, mom and I started making popsicles and uh, custom cakes. Um, we have cookies that we have a designer um, down in Houston that makes for us. So pretty much anything we need, um, she'll make it. Um, anything you could really need. And if you can't find it there, just let us know and we'll get it for you. So we're listening to everybody in the community. Um, and as they start telling us what they want, we start slowly implementing that. Um, yeah. And so like cat, the cat section was a huge thing that we didn't have when we first opened. A lot of cat owners in the neighborhood, which I wouldn't know because, yeah, I know. I see the cat behind you. Yeah. <laughs> um, most of the cats in the neighborhood, you would never know anybody had a cat because they kind of just hang out inside. So once everybody started asking us for it, um, we immediately, I think within the first month, brought in a cat section. So just listening to what everybody wants, and we'll kind of adapt to it. Oh, that's wonderful. And I hear your grooming is a little bit special or unique. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? Yeah, so we do it by appointment style, um, whereas most places will do like kind of drop off in batches um, and then you get a call whenever you get a call. 
Um, for us, we typically a lot around three to four hours um, for grooming and we just give you a call the second they're done. Um, and we take as much time as we need with them. Um, we've had dogs that needed to stay 15 hours because they were, su they were in such bad shape. Um, we just had to start and stop all day. And so that's what that dog needed in particular. We have puppies that um, technically, if we were to go all the way through and they were good with it, it would probably take an hour and a half. But if they're stressed out and they're not having it, we'll take four hours because that's what they need. Um, and our whole thing is making sure that when they leave the grooming area, they're happy, they're, they're not scared, they're not running away. Um, and we have people all the time tell us that like the dogs will stop at the store at night after you're closed and just wait there. They're just waiting for somebody to open the door and they're like, well, there's nobody there, <laughs> it's nine o'clock. So um, that's kind of our entire purpose is making sure that if you've ever had a bad experience with grooming, um, we're the ones to kind of change that for you and especially for the pup. Yeah. So you mentioned you and your mom. So this is really like a family endeavor, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. My mom, um, she works in oil and gas, so she did. Um, with the whole quarantine thing, we kind of had to pivot. And so now she pretty much works full time at the store. Um, like right now I'm at home um, and she's at the store and we'll switch off halfway through. Um, sometimes we're there all day. So we just kind of have to figure it out. Um, this wasn't expected, of course. I don't think anybody was planning for this. So we're trying to keep it as close to the chest as we can, limiting the amount of people that we're exposing ourselves to in terms of staff. Um, so right now it's me, mom, and the groomer, and I know what everybody's doing 24-7. Um, and that's how we keep us safe and everybody that comes into the store um, as safe as we can be. So that's the idea. That's really great. That's, that's a really good point. Uh, since there's so little guidance or really even understanding of what's going on or what we're supposed to be doing, that's, that's a really nice little added yeah. thing to make you feel good. Um, so how can we as neighbors really come out and support you? Like, is there something more we could do um, to, to, to support you? Um, I mean, any little bit helps. I know there are people that come in. Um, this neighborhood, I think, is like as unique as you can get. Um, I talked to a lot of the other owners um, around the Austin area, and um, I can definitely say that we have the most unique um, neighborhood everybody's been so awesome and just coming by and saying we don't really need anything we just my dog kind of likes this so I'll just buy it because we want to support you guys um, my dog will probably not even eat this but we want to <laughs> get something and so it's stuff like that where I don't know that anybody else is hearing stuff like that mm -hmm. um, in terms of the neighborhood I mean I definitely think that everybody's doing the best that they can because we talk to customers all the time we're there all the time so I try to get to know everybody in the neighborhood. I know everybody's struggling in some way, shape or form. I don't know anybody that's really been like, well, this is fine, you know, everything's great. Um, and so, I mean, anything that anybody can do is always gonna help, but I mean, anything that we can do, just let us know. Um, Cause it's that type of relationship building that um, we wanna have with the neighborhood because we know people that have already left the neighborhood um, because of this entire situation. Um, and it's stuff like that where it's like, you know, in the time that we had, it was so cool uh, to get to know them. And so just stop by, say hi. We'd love to see everybody's dogs and just anything you need, just let us know. We'll, do, we'll take care before you. That's really, really great. Um, uh, any big plans for the future? Things are so weird. You might not have like yeah. anything. Um, I mean, so I guess most people don't know. Um, we have another store in Frisco. Um, oh. So the idea was to... Um, come into the Mueller neighborhood. This is going to be my home base, um, but get it started, figure out what everybody wanted and solely hire people and then mm -hmm. kind of manage back and forth between two stores. Mm -hmm. um, because of everything that's going on, we're actually selling the other store to primarily focus on this one because this is, this is my baby. Um, so everything that I've ever wanted was this store. Um, that store kind of happened um, before or while we were building the store out. So um, we're, so we're pivoting completely to Austin and we, we've given, we sold everything um, where we should get word back on the other store this week. And so we can hyper focus on this store. Um, I had, of course, grand plans for everything as everyone else did too. Um, but just making this store successful is whatever that means, you know, just paying the bills is like a success for us right now. Um, yeah. So that is our first step really. Um, 10 year plan would be ideally having some sort of boarding facility in the neighborhood. Um, and cause everybody, 
I know how the neighborhood was before COVID. Um, so I know everybody travels and everybody's always doing something. So we don't really have anything like that really close to us. So mm -hmm. I want to, I wanted to have that and then ultimately have, um, either a vet, like a Wolfgang vet, um, and just have like a one-stop shop and just have one big area for every, whatever you need. We literally will have it all. Um, but that's down the road. <laughs> we'll figure that out down the road. Yeah. It'll take some time, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys are here now, so yeah, we're all going to do our best to support you guys. And you guys, uh, we didn't mention you're located over on, on Aldrich street. Yeah. Right um, next to Orange Theory. Next door to Orange Theory. So stop by, take your pops yes. and, and get some stuff and get some stuff for your cats. I didn't yeah. know you had cat stuff. I'm going to go. Yeah. A lot of the stuff for the, I mean, a lot of people ask, do you have cat treats? I'm like, a lot of the dog stuff is literally cat stuff. They just don't advertise it that way. So just ask us and we can definitely guide you in the right direction. Perfect. Well, it was so nice talking to you and uh, we will thank definitely you. get over there and we're going to come out and support you. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, man. It's awesome. This is awesome what you're doing.